A developer that I have become a relatively big fan of over the last few years in Hello Games is working on another big and ambitious project. Of course, Hello Games is the developer of No Man's Sky, a game that has made incredible strides over the last few years, so we'll talk all about that. PlayStation 5 hype continues to roll out, Sony sending out yet another wave of PS5 emails to get people excited, and we'll go over why it's kind of important that you get these emails in regards to the pre-order opening up and everything like that. And we have another Kingdoms of Amalur Ray Reckoning trailer, Choose Your Destiny, this time Sorcery, we'll go over that, that trailer of course detailing arcane powers and magic and all that good stuff, more on that in just a little bit. Hello Games just released a smaller game called The Last Campfire, of course they are primarily known for No Man's Sky and they continue to update that game with free updates and that game has gotten incredibly better from where it was at in 2016. Look, I got nagged $60 for that game in 2016 and I was pretty upset at Hello Games but thankfully I was able to refund that game on Steam and then I picked the game up again a few years later and now it is just a very very good game. I'll always say it's not perfect but a game like No Man's Sky really can't be perfect but my god you just look at all the robust content that they've added to that game. I give Hello Games a lot of credit and they have really set the standard along with you know games like Final Fantasy 14 to showcase how to revive a game, how to revitalize a game. I mean people like EA could take notes with games like Anthem and uh, Fallout 76 of course but over at Polygon, we had an interview with Sean Murray, the developer of uh, No Man's Sky and, the, uh, and studio founder, a question on whether he'd like to do a lot of press events again to build hype. The founder of Hello Games seemed to lean on a slightly stealthier approach, noting, I think about it a lot and I don't know where I come down on it. There is a really positive thing about talking about your game a lot, where you get people interested in it and who wouldn't have played it otherwise. We see that with No Man's Sky. We appeal to a huge amount of people, a lot of whom who would have known about the game otherwise, right? If we'd stealth launch it or whatever, some of our biggest fans would never have heard about it. So it's very difficult, but I look back having done a lot of different press opportunities and things like that, and I reckon about half of what we did and a lot of what we had problems, I think, were we naive, we didn't really need to do and we would have had the same level of success, you know? That's my own personal take, right? A lot of opportunities were put in front of us and we're told that they were the right things to do and I look back and I'm not sure they were super, super important to the overall outcome kind of thing. And of course, Murray was also asked about another game, a huge ambitious game like No Man's Sky is, is, is what is included within the next projects that he's working on. However, keep in mind that this is a smaller studio so it's interesting how they can make these grandiose experiences. I mean, they stay committed to these games and obviously No Man's Sky has been a work in progress, but the, uh, the fact that they've been able to maintain that level of success has been pretty crazy. The Last Campfire is a game that was seemingly pretty easy for them to do. You know, they had a smaller uh, team, I imagine, work on that game, and No Man's Sky continued to receive updates, and Last Campfire turned out pretty well, obviously being a smaller game, but I'm interested to hear what they are going to be working on next. Alright, moving on from that, Sony sending out yet another wave of PlayStation 5 emails. They are really starting to get the hype rolling on the PlayStation 5 and if you go on over to your uh, email page that's tied to your PlayStation account, if you have notifications set up, which is important that you guys do that, uh, there's just an email that notes, discover a deeper gaming experiences. And if you notice, Sony's been updating a lot of their promotional uh, material. If you look at their YouTube banner and things like that, let's actually pull up the PlayStation YouTube banner right now because I remember looking at it and I remember really liking it and the tagline that they're using. Okay, they just changed it to NBA 2K21 so I guess they're building up some hype for that, but it, it was a second ago, uh, PlayStation 5 uh, delved deeper into gaming, or Play Has No Limits, that's the tagline they're using for the PlayStation 5, Play Has No Limits, and if you go on to PlayStation.com, you'll see all the new updated promotional material, so pretty cool that they are doing that. Uh, I guess they do want to promote NBA 2K21, I mean, I've been memeing on that game for a while. Nevertheless, another email being sent out, and also, keep in mind, have your notification settings turned on. If you guys signed up to be notified to open, uh, being able to pre-order PlayStation 5 consoles a little bit earlier than everyone else, be a part of that selected group, I believe you will not get an email unless you have notifications turned on. If you go to your account settings, it's like at the bottom, there's like notification settings, turn all that stuff on. I had it turned off for a while and I was like, I wonder why Sony never sends me emails. And that happened for literally years, I had it turned off and I just, uh, quite a while ago I turned it back on, but yeah, now I get all the emails from PlayStation. 
but make sure you turn it on and from what I remember it actually took a little bit of time to trigger them actually sending me the email so get on that ASAP because I don't think you're gonna end up getting an invite to pre-order early if that's something you want to do uh, so just bear that in mind and be on top of that a lot of rumblings that the pre-order date is going to be September 9th and we might have more reveal September 9th at this point. Not really holding any bets on anything just because we're literally in September and we're not hearing anything about pre-orders or, you know, what's going to be at launch outside of Spider-Man Miles Morales, which I find absolutely insane. But nevertheless, there you go with that. Lastly, I do want to note that Kingdoms of Amalur has gotten yet another trailer, uh, that being the Choose Your Destiny Sorcery trailer. The overview of the trailer notes, some rely on the sheer power of Cold Steel in their hands, others on stealth and traps, but there's a third path, those who choose the way of sorcery and put their trust in the arcane powers of the elements. Whether you wield a staff, a chakram, or a scepter, your offensive capabilities are impressive. Let fire, lightning, or ice rain on your enemies while you stay out of their reach. You can also use your sorcery skills to heal yourself, protect yourself with an arcane shield, or even summon a loyal minion that attacks everything nearby. Your opponents might as well be pitiful chicken. So, there you go with that. Getting pretty excited for this game, and based on my comment section, it seems like a lot of other people are getting pretty excited. Somebody uh, left a comment saying everybody clear out their calendars for September 8th and you know KOA if you rush through the main story you can complete this game rather quickly I remember when I initially played it uh the first time through I beat it pretty quickly like I but I rushed through the game I think my trophy level for the game was like 30 percent the first time I remember beating it and I was only at like 30 percent completion but yeah I went back and played a lot of the other content went through the game again and it's a relatively lengthy game if you want to do everything or even do a sizable amount of the side content so bear that in mind you are going to need a little bit of time i know avengers is coming out i know tony hawk's pro skater one and two is coming out both i'm very 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 excited for tony hawk's pro skater probably taking a little bit of my excitement up uh from avengers but yeah a lot of cool stuff coming out koa definitely on the top of my list for the next few weeks but that's going to conclude this video again hello game sean murray talks the next game it's going to be as ambitious and you know as huge as no man's sky that's pretty exciting especially if they can get it at a quality level right out the gate i think that's going to cause a lot of excitement especially because nms everybody kind of perceives it as a pretty high quality title at this point sony sending out yet another wave of playstation 5 emails check your email it's always good to be up to date on the promotion emotional stuff you might fit, find out games that are coming out you might find out things that sony are doing not every event is as big as the playstation 5 reveal event they do smaller things here and there they do promotional events all that kind of stuff i would recommend you to have your notifications turned on if you have like a gmail they have like the section where all your promotional emails go there and you get all your main emails in the regular section so that's usually pretty advantageous if you don't want to see all the promotional stuff just flood your email but yeah bear that in mind kingdoms of Amalur also gets another trailer very excited for this one 40 dollars and we got more content for the game coming early next year that's super exciting that's going to conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.